Okay, here is a really quick understanding of what the difference is between a compound path and grouping. So, I'm just going to show you with a little octopus guy. And I am going to draw a box around him to kind of show you the layers of dimension. Now, I'm going to make this box black. There we go. Now, he has disappeared. So, I'm going to select everything and actually, I lied, I'm going to select the box and I'm going to say send backwards. And now here he is. He's back. So I want to just click on him. And since I can't see where he's, where his, his box is clicked, I'm just going to select everything. I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to click on the black box. So I know I just have my little octopus. And let's make him pink. Okay. Now, because he's a compound path, you see how the eyes, all of that's going to cut out. The, the main thing here is you want him to stay like that because if you release the compound path, you kind of lose all of that. So that's the main thing with compound path. Now, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to make it all one compound path and you're going to see the colors go away because now if this black were my vinyl, this is what's going to be cut out of of the space. Now, if I wanted to show grouping, that's kind of totally different because grouping is basically just used and to um, keep stuff together. So right now, because all this is loose, I'm losing all my parts all over the place. So I'm going to put everything back together and I'm just going to group it together. It's really kind of different. The main purpose of grouping is just to hold your stuff in place. So um, I hope that helps. The, the easiest way to see it is with layering your paint colors. But when it comes to vinyl, um, I've always just found that the best thing to do is just to make something a compound path because then I'm going to be assured that my cuts are going to be where I need them to be.